Hello everybody, welcome back to WOUK. Today I'm going to be making a continuation of that fancy intro I made uh, middle of last month sometime. So I'll just put a quick reminder playing now. So guys, uh, I don't know if you remember or if you've seen the last video, but in the last video I was making my way across a field into a little woodland. This woodland that I'm in now. Uh, basically it's about, I don't know, half an acre. It's not very big at all. It's more of a coppice than a woodland. Uh, it's a very small woodland. I'm just doing a quick circle so you can see the, uh, the, the state of it and see what we're dealing with. But basically I've just carried all this gear in, which is just down here on the floor. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'm going to set up a burner, make myself a coffee and start clearing up some of the deadfall and some of the, uh, the ground litter that's in here. Uh, just tidying it up for future campouts. Uh, maybe once the crop's gone from the field surrounding I can tow the trailer into here and have a, have a nice trailer. A trailer do in here. Um, anyway, I will leave this bit of blurb just here and I'll set up the camera and go quiet for a bit, set up the burner, get it lit. I have brought some kindling in with me to get the fire started um, and then I'll just start putting a little bit of deadfall and stuff on. Right, so that's the bag unpacked. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to crack on. I've brought, as I said before, I've brought some kindling. I'll get the fire started. I've got various different fire lighting um, facilities, I suppose, uh, tools, etc. Cotton wool soaked in uh, olive oil, cotton wool soaked in wax, and I've got cotton wool soaked in uh, petroleum jelly, which is otherwise known as Vaseline. Uh, I'll try that with the fire striker first, but if that doesn't work, a uh, close friend of mine, Gordon from Bug Out North Wales, I uh, managed to source some of these for me. I can't read foreign, so I don't exactly know um, what they're called. Well, they're called flame fast. But what they look like to me is a match with a, with a fire lighter built in. So I may try them as well if I have no success with the, uh, with the cotton wool balls. It's got a little striker on the side there. Uh, a little bit more prepared than last time because that's where the video failed. I came out and it had been snowing, so everything in this little coppice was saturated. So it took me an absolute age to light the fire, at which point I looked up and it started going dark. So um, instead of me starting to do my little jobs in the woods and, and cooking myself some breakfast, etc, etc, um, yeah, I had to kind of abandon ship and go home. But rather than scrap all the footage, because I did film that really nice intro, uh, I made it into a, just a channel intro. Um, but this is what the plan was all along, just to come into the woods, make myself a coffee, make myself some food, and just crack on with a few little jobs. Um, just cutting down low-hanging branches, deadfall and things. Um, nothing too strenuous. Um, Land Rover's way over in the field where you will have seen in the other video, um, so it's a bit of a walk away. I've had to do two journeys to bring all this kit in, uh, just because it was too much. I've also brought a shotgun, because um, this is actually one of my shooting permissions, um, and I've been asked to keep um, a, a, birds, basically, low, so uh, pigeons, crows, uh, jackdaws, things like that, just to a minimum, because it's just crop fields, and the birds are just costing the farmer hundreds of pounds, thousands of pounds every year by eating the crop. Anyway, I've rambled enough. We'll cut over to the um, to the fire lighting, and we'll we'll see if we can get a fire going. So what I'm going to do here, people, is I'm going to fluff up the fibres of my cotton wool ball. This one's been soaked in all three of the previously mentioned. It's got Vaseline, wax, and olive oil on it. So I'm going to fluff it up. I'm going to grab my fire steel, try and find a bit that that the protective coating's already been scratched off. Let's um kind of try and protect my hands a little bit because these blades can be very sharp and uh, yeah just try and rain down some sparks on it my aim's not that good I'm not gonna lie there you go 
third try and we're going. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose just the smaller bits of this kindling that I've brought in and just set it up just so it gets going. Once I've got it going with the kindling I'll um, go and collect some deadfall. And I just stoke it up with some some stuff that's on the floor, which is going to be damp. Guaranteed, it's going to be damp. Well, I can confirm that cotton wool ball is still going. That's, uh, that's the main thing that's going there. We just quickly will use the Wessex blades, Dane Law. And we'll just quickly split some of this down. To do with a log to lean on, this is going to be quite unsuccessful. I'll tell you what, my struggle we've got next. I don't know if you know about the cheat stick method, but instead of having your fingers in the way, always just prop it up on a stick and it just saves you losing a limb or two. So the fire is well and truly going now. You just add a few more bigger bits to it. Just to sustain it for a little bit longer. So just stoking up the fire just then, my phone uh, just went. I just had a text message off a subscriber of all people and a customer of the shop. Uh, he's just saying, I can't wait for your next instalment because I'm couch bound. So uh, Rog, I wish you a swift recovery, mate. Uh, I hope to see you in the shop soon and uh, yeah, you're up on your feet again properly. Um, I'm just going to continue with this fire, I'm going to put a few bigger logs on it now uh, and then I'm going to get some water on to boil for a brew because I've not even had a coffee yet this morning. Okay now with the fire stoked I'm going to start putting the tarp up between these two trees. Uh, I just quickly off camera cut a bit of uh, paracord, that's what it's called, mind one blank, uh, and I'm going to put up a, a, a bit of a tarp. Not because I need to, because it's glorious today, it's absolutely wonderful, but because I want to. Um, and yeah, it'll make it be a little bit more homely, just while I'm working in here. So guys, a bit of time's gone by now. Managed to get a frying pan on to make some breakfast. And I've got a pan on just to boil some water so I can have a coffee. Uh, I'm just gonna work on straightening this up because it's leaning a little bit. Uh, the tarp shelter's not going so well behind you. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, I needed trees further apart and unfortunately, unless I move right to the other side of the other little coppice here, uh, there's nothing really that can accommodate me. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna molly coddle that together just off camera and just carry on um, cooking breakfast here. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll fetch you back in a minute once we get some food on. So guys, I've just literally put some bacon on and my water's almost come to the boil. I'm uh, just going to flip the bacon over. If it wasn't sticking to the little small, smallest pan in the world. Out! Okay. Never goes according to plan on my channel. You know that full well. Uh, the bacon stuck to the pan, which is all right. I've got a spork with me, I'll scrape it off of the spork. And it'll be the worst bacon and sausage sandwich I've ever made but I love it. So 
So uh, yeah, we've got some brown rolls. I've got my trusty little knife. Managed to clear up a bit of the woodland. Obviously I wasn't going to do that on camera because it's a little bit boring. But uh, I've got a few logs chopped up around the burner that I'm just going to be burning through. Uh, the stuff I can burn because there's so much stuff um, that, that's, that's beyond burning. It's, got, it's, it's turned to pulp. It's gone so soft. But yeah, I just used a little blue open old knife then just to cut the bread bit of a woodland prep instead of using the big bushcraft knife to do stuff like that. You don't know how long I've been waiting to make this video. If you remember, last January when I uh, hurt my leg in the woods, I was actually setting out to do this very video. So this video's a year, well, 13 months <laughs> in the making. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be the longest video it's ever taken anybody to make. But uh, yeah, the bacon and the sausage are just almost ready. I've got a brown uh, bread roll just over there waiting for it all to go into. I have brought some eggs, but I don't think I'm going to bother with the eggs because I haven't brought anything to turn the egg over in the frying pan with in usual speed fashion, just rushing to get out the house. But uh, yeah, the water's coming on. I'm going to have to stoke up the fire a little bit to get the water boiling a little bit more. First coffee of the day. But uh, yeah, we're almost there. Almost there. Again, not the best sandwich in the world. I've got no condiments, no brown sauce, no red sauce with me. I'm just going to chow into it like that. Uh, I'm going to quickly have a few bites of this and then stoke up the fire a little bit because the fire's starting to look a little bit puny. I'm going to come closer for this. Close up shot. Oh, this is good. Don't know what it is, but food cooked outside always always tastes better and if you don't believe me go outside next bit of sunshine you see and just fire up your barbecue and tell me that doesn't taste better than putting food under your grill it's just so much better anyway another bite and then i'll put some more fire on on the uh, some more wood on the fire not fire on the fire wood on the fire and get it going again mm. <clears throat> So while I'm finishing off my last bit of sandwich and waiting for my water to boil for a coffee, let me explain to you what's been going on this year. Um, as you all well know if you follow me, uh, my Land Rover Defenders has been having a few problems. Um, anyway, cut a long story short, changed a lot of things under the bonnet. Um, I, I, and all that was left to do was, was the head gasket, which a lot of people did say it was the head gasket, but being a stubborn Greek that I am, um, I wanted to change everything first. And let's face it, the water pump could have done with changing. You know, there are a few other things, you know, new thermostat could have done with changing. So I changed all the bits um, and it was still pressurizing it, pressurizing its, its water system. So I sent it off to a good friend of mine who uh, had it for about 10 days uh, and confirmed the head gasket had gone in two different places. My head was warped. Um, so it's been reconditioned basically. It's been skimmed, it's been pressure tested, new valve stem oil seals, etc, uh, etc. Et and it's all back together and it's running beautifully. Uh, there's a few jobs to do on it besides the engine now though. Um, the passenger side door is seen better days, it needs a new passenger side door. So it's going to be an ongoing project. While it was at my friend John's getting repaired, uh, I went and invested in a, in a Freelander 
uh, went all the way over to uh, Barnsley, I believe it was, and picked up a genuine, what I thought, genuine, uh, Freelander, Hippo. I'll put a picture here now of a Hippo, so you all know what a Freelander looks like. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had the Freelander for all of two days before it broke. Um, so I used the Defender for a few days, and then uh, off it went to John again. Uh, it took him two days to find what it was. Uh, all it was is it wouldn't start in the morning. It would start at night time. It was almost as if it didn't like mornings. Um, so it's been repaired. It was. It just happened to be a, 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 an O-ring of all things in the in the fuel pump on the front of the engine. Uh, but it's all fixed now. Um, the reason I've bought the Freelander is because of this. I'm hoping to start doing some stealth camping, some wild camping, whatever you want to call it. So over the next few weeks, months, I'm just going to be coming into various little woodlands and I'm going to be trying out gear. I mean, today is a little bit of a cheeky one. I've brought a, a, a wood burner and everything with me. I have actually got a little gas burner, little tiny portable thing, tiny thing it is, uh, that I'm going to be using more of. Um, so I just want to perfect my gear really. So, so yeah, trying to decide what knives, what tools I'm going to take with me, what tarps, definitely not this tarp unless I'm hammocking. Um, that's not the best tarp in the world, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a bit narrow. So you can't build a shelter over it, but it'd be ideal for over the top of a, over the top of a hammock. But yeah, that's what's been going on in my tiny world. But now my water is almost on a rolling boil. So I'm going to make my first coffee of the day. And then I'm going to continue just burning this bit of wood, tidying up a little bit and then heading off. So welcome back. Uh, I've just been trying to perfect the tarp shelter. I've moved around the little coppice, just trying to find two trees that are, that are more spaced apart because those two over there were a little bit too close together to get the full spread. Well now I've got this tree just here, you can see I've put a bit of paracord on it just there, and this tree just behind me just here. Uh, the tarp is on the floor just behind me there, you can see it in a crumpled up mess. I've just got to ridge line it up and just get it all tied off and hopefully I've got a little bit of success. Well, we had a kind of success with the tarp. A uh, mistake I made is I picked up the wrong tarp this morning. I picked a ha hammocking tarp up. So it's just simply not big enough uh, for what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack the tarp away now. Uh, put it away in the bag. I'm going to make another coffee uh, and I'm going to potentially come back tomorrow uh, with a bigger tarp. So tarp is all gone. Leave it as you found it always folks. And over here I'll just take you for a quick walk and show you. I hope you can see that. I can't see my camera screen. There you go. My water is on a rolling boil so I'm going to quickly make another coffee. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different to my usual things. Sorry, I'm having to duck way down. Grab that. Uh, and as I say, it's been more me just testing gear and just trying to get my stealth camping kit together ready for when I start stealth camping. But uh, yeah, I'll quickly stoke up this fire, finish making this coffee and just kick back and relax for a, another half an hour before I head off to my parents for some Sunday dinner. So uh, folks, hope you're all well and uh, I will continue and I'll work it in somehow uh, with the tarpaulin tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'll speak to you all soon.